Hello everyone, Toby from AbletonDrama.com here. I want to show you how you can pause clips in session view. Meaning you can stop clips and then if you want to start again from the point you stopped, you can do this now via max for live device of mine. Let me quickly show you how this works. So you just need to pull the device on the track where you got the clip. It will automatically detect which clip is playing. So it will automatically give you some flexibility if you want to stop a clip somewhere and then take off from there where you are. So this makes sense for longer tunes, obviously. And if you have like, if you don't want to set this, um, beforehand where you want to stop if you want to be flexible where you where you are stopping so let's quickly show let me show you how this works so we're playing this tune here so i got the metronome switched on so we can see where it's happening so i have the device here press on stop and it stops and then if i want to restart it from the stopping point i just need to click on from stop three four and now it's starting from here so obviously it makes sense to use this in combination with the launch quantization, quantization, global launch quantization here. So this should be set to a minimum value of one bar. That just makes the most sense. And uh, most time signatures will work like four, four, three, four, six, eight, whatever more odd time stuff like three, eight or something wouldn't work. So this is like, has to do something with the counting here. Okay, so you can actually say, set this up for a lot of tracks. So just imagine you have like a full tune being played, you have different loops happening, but you want one loop or not, some loops to be still keep playing while you're stopping the main tune. Yeah, so I've set this up here with um, just a nice um, second rhythm and I set up a few MIDI clips here just to show you how this works. So we need to go on the one track we have here and we're going to use a second device which is included as well. So we are just using this one and we're going to activate a few tracks we want to be looped and stopped and restopped, paused, um, restarted um, here so let's add the track so we have track number one track number two track number three four and five three four and five are the ones i want to add i want to stop here as well so i just activate a few fields here you can activate up to 50 here but to be honest i wouldn't like it's quite a lot of um calculation here in the background so i think i wouldn't use it live with more than i don't know maybe 10 to 30 tracks, give it a try. It might work cool for you, but you know, computer systems are different. There are some limitations. So obviously it can be really well working on one machine and on the other machine, it might not work to this extent with so many tracks. Okay, so um, let's set this up real quick. So we're now playing the tune from the top. Let's say from the top, we can set all from the top here as well. So now we're playing from the top. You can see this and switch this track on. So I'm now press stop. So all the clips I defined are stopping now. You can see this track one, track three, four, five. All the same clips in the same scene um, will stop here. And this one is still happening, number two. And now I can go from restart from stop. Oh, it's a bad wording to be honest. Okay, but you know what I mean. Okay, so let's press this and you can see they are all running and all those clips here change the starting point as well. Here is one good example of why it didn't didn't change uh, from the didn't change the starting point, and that's due to that the end marker here was still down here. So if the end marker is here. Um, you can't set this point um, via automation to the end point. So you need to make sure a few things here. First of all, loop needs to be switched on for uh, audio tracks. So make sure to you have loop switched on and as well warping, which makes sense anyways, if you want to have stuff staying in sync. As I mentioned before, one bar global launch quantization makes the most sense here. I think so 
as well so and for the midi clips make sure that you don't have um, something playing which has still the end marker at the top here okay so that's the start and stop function here have fun i think this gives a lot of opportunity to do stuff different live in session view so um check out the device there is a link in the video description here to check it out cool have fun <laughs>